Good morning, Cohort C, and uh, welcome to Monday, March 22nd. It is officially World Water Day, and uh, I just want to point out some of the features on the World Water Day website. If you haven't been there already, go there, worldwaterday.org, written just like that. Uh, remember, this year's theme is valuing water. What water means to people is what they're looking for. Uh, because water means different things to different people. You've got three links here, a link to the Learn, and it's got the World Water Day 2021 kit, which I did give you on the class announcements. If you scroll up, there's one of the uh, World Water Day graphics, sort of like the memes we're making, and there it is. That's the toolkit. You can just click here, and that way you don't have to download the entire kit uh, zipped file and unzip it. I already got the PDF for you. The share part, um, if you are finishing your water pollution PSA this week, you can use one of the social media resources here or, or the toolkit They've got different uh, images, graphics that you can put on your blog because they're, they're giving it here for people to share. So you can support today and this year's uh, World Water Day campaign. So part of our water pollution raising awareness project, our public service announcement, is to let people know, hey, it's World Water Day and here's what water means to me. You're putting a paragraph just a couple of sentences or more about what water means to you. Uh, and remember, it's from different perspectives. You could write about having clean, fresh drinking water that's, that's not polluted. You could talk about our environment where we have a wonderful creek that is healthy and has fish in it. You could talk about boating in our nearby lakes or the bay, uh, the, the Admiralty Inlet, the Hood Canal. I mean, we've got amazing waters here in our very own backyard. Or you could just write about knowing that when water goes out of your house, you have a septic tank or water treatment plant that will treat it and not put raw sewage into the environment. Uh, all things like that matter. And um, enjoying water. That's why we have to take care of it. That's why you're writing your public service announcements to raise awareness. So you've got that here. And then acting with the hashtag World Water Day and the hashtag Water to Me is um, publish your posts. And I will share them because I have a Twitter account so I can hashtag it World Water Day and Water to Me. Um, and if you have a Twitter account, there's the Water to Me hashtag, you can share it too. Please share your own. Share the ones that uh, I have chosen to feature on our blog. So this is what we're doing for World Water Day today. I can't wait to see uh, those of you who are going to finish your PSA today. And uh, here's some updates. Um, I've got, and thank you for filling out that form for uh, our... our other student who's working on filtration and, and water and contamination. And Team 2 Friday lost a bunch of AP, but you should have gained some of it over the weekend. And on an unrelated note, have you noticed there's some new pets? Check out my lovely uh, hippo there. Yeah, if you go to your gear, where's my gear? Oh, there it is, equipment, and you go to pets, you're going to find out that there's some uh, some of our... Fancy pets are sporting some interesting outfits. So you've got these guys there. Oh, I love the rat uh, and the alligator and and Waku looking a little cool. And how about Zargos? Yeah, he's he's looking great. So yeah, sport one of the new pets today. Um, but today I want to update you on what's going on with the three PSAs I've already published. And uh, today I'm gonna publish a couple more, maybe three, because I've got some to choose from. And thank you for writing more so I have more to choose from. 
I'll add them to this website today as well. So I'm going to update this one and I'm going to update our blog here. Uh, but it's looking really good so far. Deacon's oil spills with, with the vacuuming idea has gotten 198 views. Zachary's A Lovely Day at the Lake, 109 views. And, um, you know, Rosie, your look at the lovely sea, which was one day behind theirs, is already up to 96. And you can see that posts from previous years are still getting views. The fact that dealing with dangerous algae uh, way back from 2016, it has five views, means that by promoting the new ones, the old ones are getting looked at too. Uh, you can see stanky fish, stanky fish, another ocean acidification. Uh, they're still getting views, so we're out there, folks. That means that these three and the ones I start featuring this week, you guys are going to be immortalized. Your, your posts are going to keep reaching people for years. And you could do that to your own, too. And here's something exciting I like to look at, where in the world they're coming from. Well, uh, most of them come from the U.S. But look, we've got visits from Germany, Norway, South Korea, Russia, France, Canada, Portugal, the United Kingdom, uh, Brazil, Hungary, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates, Colombia, and, and other parts of the world. So, yeah, we're getting views all over the U.S., Canada. Um, it's really great to see that your posts have gone worldwide. All right? So, this is to let you know you are making a difference. You are doing good. And I want to read uh, Deacon's because it was so well done. And, and for those of you who are still working on yours, need inspiration, I hope you're watching because you're asking me, oh, how do I make my meme? What do I make my meme about? How do I write this? Well, here are examples, great examples you can use to get inspired. So Deacon just picked a picture of a turtle covered in oil, but then he used sarcasm. Mmm, chocolate. That's sarcasm because people are going to look at this and go, what? What's he talking about? And it's going to hopefully make them want to read because then he can hook them in with his first paragraph. So if you use a picture, uh, remember, it's got to be Creative Commons. Do it just like I taught you. And uh, you can make it sarcastic or you can make it real and say, we have to save this turtle. That's the other way to write your meme is uh, keep it real. Don't be sarcastic. So you've got choices. But he starts... Oil spills happen a lot around the world, and it is horrible for the ocean. Oil spills happen when oil tubes explode and the oil from the ocean goes, goes all over. When oil tubes explode, they suck the oil out of the ground in the ocean and just keeps going until it gets fixed. Once it gets fixed, they have to make sure that it has no cracks, and they have to make sure that the machine is still working because it has been smothered in oil. Once they fix it, they have to go into deeper parts of the ocean to get animals and clean them off and take them in so they don't get into more oil. This happens from drilling deep in the ocean for more and more oil. Consequences. The consequences are that all the sea life in the ocean dies because they get smothered in oil. If all our sea life dies, then we can't have calamari or fish. All the people that get protein from seafood will have to eat the out-of-the-ordinary food. What I mean for the out of the ordinary is that it's not normal for them. Seafood is very healthy for us and can give us protein. And if we don't have that source of protein, then we will have to eat more of other animals like cows, pigs, etc. If we eat more of those animals, then we will run out because we have eaten so much that we will not have the time to breed them for more cows. We will just eat them up. How can we help? Us humans can help by putting types of machines out in the water to clean up the oily water, and we could also make the oil tubes stronger so they do not spew out any oil when it blows up. Another way we could help is that we have eyes on the oil tubes 24-7, like scuba divers will go into the ocean and check it all out before setting a camera somewhere and some people watching the video like a security camera. Another way we could make sure that oil spills don't happen we could protect the tube with more metal, 
and plastic around it. So if the first layer cracks, we can still have two more layers to break through. And the time it would break the other layers, we would have uh, it completely fixed up. My solution. My solution is that we put a machine called the swasher and it cleans the oily water like this. We do that except with oil. The machine will have little holes that water can go through, but the oil particles will stay in there. The water will be pressed down through the small holes. It will all, it will be all the stuff that seawater will only have in it and not oil. Since the water is completely pushed out, the oil particles will go into a separate container that sucks it up so the other oil particles will stay in it. That part works like a vacuum. And the vacuum sucks up air and dirt and water with it. In this case, it would just suck up the oil. And uh, he learned how a vacuum works from How Stuff Works, great website. Got his uh, information about how oil would be pushed down. He got a photo from Flickr showing that he got Creative Commons. And he's got his um, how the machine will spray out water from this Alexander L. Uh, website. Um, we're still waiting for a few more links from Deacon where he got his information about those uh, underwater deep ocean oil spills. And I'm still waiting for your how you value water so I'm still going to add more to this one. And thank you, TTV Double Deke, for uh, leaving your, your classmate a comment. Uh, and feel free to leave Deacon a comment and Zachary a comment and Rosie a comment. If you click on Chimicum World Solutions, you can see all three of them. Here's Rosie's, Deacon's, Zachary's, and uh, all the previous ones. Uh, remember, I also share these right here on Google Classroom. So there you have it, a lesson today on oil spills from Deacon. All right, but it is time to check in with our very own writer of Vey, the one, the only, Tommy Vey. And today he gives us a message from the Horde. The Horde attacks and we have to go to arms. Uh, it looks like we had quite the battle. Everyone got involved. Everyone is taking damage. Uh, but since it is a full-out battle with both teams defending against the Horde, I'm going to delay the damage till later this uh, afternoon because, Guardians, this is your chance. So you're fighting off the Horde and you get to protect your healers and your mages because... You want to help them stay healthy so they can heal you and give you the energy you need to continue fighting off the Horde. And this Horde is made of orc-like creatures, a lot like the orcs in uh, Lord of the Rings. Yes, or maybe the Urukai. They were, like, really cool looking. All right, so there you have it, folks. Um, geez, you know, have a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.